Hi guys, this is Tampa Tech, and if you have a PS3 that had a surge, or maybe uh, the red LED light is not turning on, then it's probably your power supply that you need to swap out or fix. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. First thing you're going to need is a MicroPhillips screwdriver kit. You can get that at Radio Shack, and uh, yeah, it's about like 10 bucks. So it comes in a set of whole bunch like Phillips and a flathead micro set. You get at Radio Shack, Amazon, eBay, wherever. And uh, actually, automotive store will probably have these too. Check out online for any automotive stores. All right, so you want to unplug obviously everything and flip it over and get your flathead screwdriver just like that. And you want to zoom in a little bit for you guys. And then just pop off all the panels, just like that. Put them all to the left side. And this one, you got one, two, three, four, and five. And then if your PS3 is out of warranty, lift up the warranty sticker. Open up that panel, that's six, and that's seven. All right, and then the hard drive screw, if you want to count that, it's eight. So you want to get now your screwdriver. We got the three screws in the back. Right here and here. And before you do anything, unplug the PS3 for about like one minute, the power cord, and then plug it back in and see if that hard resets the PS3. If it doesn't, then do this. If it's out of warranty, you know, of course, Sony will warranty uh, under, I think it's one year warranty. If you need the Sony uh, number, I'm going to post it below. And then there's nothing on this one, I'm pretty sure. And then take your micro Phillips head screwdriver, okay? And then take out the hard drive screw right here, it's bluish. Take that one out. You can turn it upside down if you want. Careful, the top lid is loose. So you take that out and put all of them to the left. So all these screws right here are on the bottom of the PS3. So next thing you want to do is take this hard drive and just move it over and then pull it out. And then you can just take out the hard drive, just like that. Put it to the left. Now take off the top lid. You might have to wiggle it a little bit. Oh, one more thing. I forgot the star key locks. One, two, three. Sorry about that. I always forget about those. So what you're gonna do is you don't need a special key for that. You can use a flathead screwdriver. Just any micro flathead screwdriver will work. All right. And what you want to do is you want to wedge it right on the left side of the pin and then turn it counterclockwise, putting pressure down. While putting pressure down, turn it counterclockwise, just like that. And if you see, you just want to see how my, my flathead is on the left side or to you maybe, yeah, it's like on the side of the pin. So you just do that. Just wedge it in there. And it works like a charm. So you don't need any like special bits or anything. Just be careful not to break your screwdriver. And that works every time for me. Same thing on the Wii controller. You do that. Just wedge it in there on the side. Sony's trying to lock us out of our own PS3. It's not going to work. A simple flathead screwdriver bypasses that. So anyhow, now you can take off the top real easy. Boom. Good to go. So this is the Blu-ray drive. This is the main fan blowing out all the heat of the GPU and the processor. And this is the power supply. Okay? So what you want to do is First things first, by the way, since you have it all apart, what I really highly suggest doing 
is vacuuming out the main fan. If your PlayStation 3 turns off after one hour of gameplay, it's probably because this never ever within years been vacuumed out. There's dust. And sometimes the dust gets so bad, especially if you have a cat, that this fan will stop moving or slow down so much to a point where it starts overheating the whole PlayStation 3 and may cause damage to the main board or the GPU. So it's important that this is working, the main fan is working. Vacuum out all the heat vents, vacuum out the back heat vent, vacuum out the main fan. And uh, your PlayStation 3 hopefully won't you know, turn off on you after an hour of game, gameplay and it, and it won't overheat. So uh, what do you do now is take out the power supply, all right? So right now we have no power uh, LED light, red LED uh, standby light. So what we're gonna do is take out power supply using a micro Phillips head screwdriver. So you just right here and unscrew that screw right there on the side. Take that one out. And then this plug right here, you wanna unplug that. Okay. Put these screws to the right side. And this one is the same. Just pinch this power plug. And then pinch and pull. And then let's go ahead and take out the other screw right here. And then put this to the right. So these actually, these go to the left because those are the lock screws. And now, you can actually take out the power supply, just like this, and this side is plugged in, so you gotta wiggle that one off, just like that. See, there's a plug-in right there, and it plugs into here. So once you do that, now there's another screw underneath the bottom, and you wanna unscrew that as well. Actually, I can just take a really screwdriver. And then you take your flathead screwdriver and then you can actually wedge it in there and it should pop off. Sometimes you gotta actually take a little bigger one and then wedge it in there and twist. clip right here, just unclip that, and then this clip right here, here the... and then that's the other clip right here. So you get one, two, three. And then there's your power supply. Alright, so this is your main fuse. I'm going to check that and see if it's good or bad using a digital voltmeter. Right here, it looks like diode mode actually. And see, you will should get a beep if, you, if it's connected, right? So if it's fuse is blown, you won't get a beep. And the fuse is good. So this, if you have a surge and you have no red, red LED light, there's another part in here that could be open or bad, shorted, whatever. Or you could just replace the whole power supply. It's pretty cheap. You can get these pretty cheap now. Get the new power supply. Next, place it on top. Other back cover. Okay, place it back in place. Make sure it plugs in securely right here. And then go ahead and plug in the power plug. Actually, let's go put that screw back in first.
So you got that screw in right here. Put this screw in at, also on the left side. Now plug them in, plug in the power, plug in that power. If you want to vacuum out that fan right here, just take out this screw and take out this. It's only two screws holding it in. It's real easy. Might as well, it's already apart, so might as well just go ahead and vacuum this whole thing out and that'll make your PS3 run cooler. I mean, it's easy to vacuum out. You just use any, uh, you know, brush vacuum head. You also, if you want, you could blow it out using a compressor, which I don't have. All right, just like that. Now let's put it all back together. lid on, put the front on first, and then the back. Okay, and you just put it in on the side of it, and then you rotate it just like that. Oh, shit, let's go ahead and test it out and see if it works. Uh, so let's go ahead and plug it in. Plug in the power, plug in the HDMI, and that's it. And hopefully you get the red LED light, and yep, so that's a good sign. And turn it on. What I had to do in the back, by the way, is I had to drill out a couple other holes. So I have one two, three, four holes I drilled out so all the heat could come out. So now it's turning on right here after I hit power and then the PS3 is on so we're good to go. If this worked please post a comment below and let us know it works for you. If you have any questions post a comment below and uh, subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how to tech videos and check out my playlists and how to fix other stuff and TVs and Xbox and PlayStation, PlayStation 3 and all that cool stuff. And like and subscribe. And uh, if you have someone else that has a broken PS3, share this on Facebook.